Hey there, welcome to Exit. I'm your trainer, Kelsey Lee, and on today's workout, because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, we're working on our love handles because we love Valentine's Day. Okay, first exercise, standing wood chops. So, arms here, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. You guys ready for this? Let's do it, and pull, just like this. Really reach, twist around. If you're a baseball player, you know how to do this. If you're not a baseball player, now you do. Keep going. Pull that knee up, really twist. Don't fall over like I almost did. In about eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, switch this side. Here we go. Thirty seconds, remember? Feel that isolation in those obliques. Keep it up. Nice job, guys. Pull up that knee. 10 seconds. You got it. And five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Next exercise, we're doing a pull down like so. Isolating the core, obliques right here. Let's go for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Pull it up. Get that isolation. You want that mind and muscle connection. You're not just going through the motions because that's easy to do. Pull it up. Squeeze at the top right here. Squeeze. Keep going. They might look funny, but they work. Eight more seconds. And four, three, two, one. And switch. You guys ready this side? Really squeeze. You got it. Feel the isolation in those obliques. Chest up, relax through the neck. Keep it up. 10 more seconds, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Next exercise, we need a dumbbell. I'm gonna grab this one over here, 10 pounder. Okay, so all we're doing, reach to the side, squeeze that opposite oblique, okay? Shorten and contract. Let's go for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Here we go. Put your fingers right here and you should feel that shortening, contracting action happening right there. You got it. Good job, guys. Slow and controlled so you get the isolation. Don't just go through the motions. You got it. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch. Here we go, 30 seconds. Slow controlled. Feel those obliques working. You can also do this without weight and it'll work just fine, but if you've been conditioning for a while, I encourage you to use a dumbbell. 10 more seconds. Slow controlled, mind and muscle connection, you got it. A couple more, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, next exercise, we don't need this dumbbell, so move that out of the way. We're gonna do V-twist. Okay, it's gonna look like this on your back. Bring it up just like this, okay? If you want to, you can use a medicine ball if you're feeling very advanced today. But we're just gonna use our own body weight for this for 45 seconds. Here we go. Join in, right on that tailbone. Maximize your workout, no slacking. Keep going. Move those legs, more isolation. You got it. A lot of these movements that look super simple, if you're doing them right, they really work. Again, isolation, mind and muscle connection, all that stuff helps maximize your workouts. 10 more seconds. My obliques are burning. If you're doing these, I hope yours are too. Three, two, and one. Okay, this next exercise, you guys, remember we're working on those love handles, working on those obliques, that core, pull it all in. 
because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And we love our love handles to go away. Just like this, heel touches. Let's go for 45 seconds. You guys ready? I am. Here we go. Remember, if you're just watching, these look totally funny, but if you're doing them, they work. Really reach. If this is hurting your back, bring it down a little lower, and if it's still hurting, take a break and do these in intervals. You doing okay? Keep it up. Hit those obliques, good isolation. We're not just flopping around on the floor, we're being intentional. <laughs> Keep it up. Almost there, 10 more seconds. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, next exercise up, we have oblique crunches. So on your side, one arm flat out like this for stability. Other hand here, and pull up. You guys ready? We're doing this for time. 30 seconds, you ready? Here we go. Really pull up. You got it. Should be burning. If you're doing these right, you'll feel it right here in your obliques. Keep going. Almost there, 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, other side, guys. Hand out for stability, right here. And pull, 30 seconds, join in, you got it. Pull those knees up, isolation right here in your obliques. Good work. Keep it up. Exhale on the way up with 10 more seconds to go, to go. you got it. Speaking some other language or something like that today. And three, two, one. Nice job. All right, next exercise we have is a side plank. So pop it up, just like this. Okay, 30 seconds, jump on in. Pull that hip up to that ceiling, whoop. Good job. Keep it up, pull through here, activate those obliques. Pull that hip up. Don't let it sink down. You got it. 10 more seconds. Pull it up again. You got it. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to start doing these for 15 seconds. So hip drops, and here we go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. You got it. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, should be burning, one. Nice work, take a break. All right, next side. If your elbows hurt, tough it up. Okay, side plank, 30 seconds. Hip up into that ceiling, whoop. You got it. Feel those obliques working, mine are activated and it's making me sweat. So keep it up. Pull it up. You got it. Eight more seconds. Almost there. What's next? Hip drops. You know what to do. And here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Pull it up. Six, five. Easy. Last four. Challenge yourself. Three. Two, one. All right, next exercise, another side plank. Just a regular one, pop it up, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna reach through with our arm for the last 15. Pull that hip up. If it helps, bring your arm up like this. Whoop. And if it helps, bring your hip up like this with your arm, straight up. You got it. Couple more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take a little rest. This next one, our arm is gonna come out and we're gonna reach under. You guys ready? Here we go. And one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it up. Couple more seconds. Last two. One more. Good work. Okay. All right. Other side. Pull that hip up like so. Bring your arm up if you need to. 30 seconds. Jump on in. You got it. We love for those love handles to go away. So you've got to be intentional with your exercises and do this stuff consistently. If you're starting to sink down, pull it up. Couple more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Little rest. Remember, we're pulling and reaching. Okay. 15 seconds. You guys ready? Here we go. Really reach. About 10 more seconds left, guys. You got it. Keep going. A couple more. And last one. Nice work. All right, last exercise we're doing is opposite mountain climber. So mountain climber position, pull up that knee to that opposite arm, like so. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. This is the last one, so make sure you're doing it all. You guys ready? Here we go. Slow and controlled. We're not worried about speed. Just pulling it all the way up. If you have a squeaky mat like mine, it just makes it more interesting. Pull those knees up. Try not to step on yourself. <laughs> you got it. Keep it up. If you exhale as you bring that knee up, it's going to help you get more isolation, remember? Keep going. A couple more. An eight, seven, six, five, four. Pull it up. Three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Nice workout today on Exit. Thank you for giving your love handle some love with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions, leave a video comment, or you can follow me on Twitter at KelseyLee.com. See you next time.